Okay. Let's go and do this. Because why not? Let's do this. Because why not? Let's, uh... Let's do this. Because why not? <laughs> and there's the scoop. Oh, man. They were not... They were not having fun towards the end of that game, huh? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be an absolute banger of a list because we are playing some Mardu. Not only are we playing Mardu, it's a very competitive Mardu list that runs one of my favorite cards, Reconstruct History. Uh, this deck was inspired by a couple of members here in the community. Uh, we were playing some live, you know, live stream games the other day and they had mentioned they have been playing Mardu as well, playing some Reconstruct History and I had to just jump in on that train and I was like, you know what? I haven't played that card in a while. Let's give it a shot. And we, uh, we came up with something here today. So shout out to Country Fried, shout out to Carl. Thank you guys for the, uh, the, you know, tip on what to play and what to give a, give a shot to. So we are playing some Reconstruct History. If you guys aren't familiar with this card, it allows us to bring back a ton of cards from the graveyard it's a reanimator style card that pulls not only you know a single card back from the graveyard but it pulls a lot it pulls artifacts enchantments instant sorceries and planeswalkers so it's really good if you have a really well balanced deck with a lot of different threats and uh let me tell you this is a beautiful concoction we came up with but before i go any further if you are new here and you find any value in today's video if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button it is a free way to help support the channel and i'd really appreciate it it goes a very long way uh, all right, let's talk about it because we got a lot of gameplay footage to get through. So, uh, like I said, Reconstruct History grabs us a lot of different things, but we want to make sure we're well balanced as far as all of the different types of cards we have, like enchantments, artifacts, etc. So, as far as enchantments, let's start there. We have two enchantments. We have Touch the Spirit Realm, which is a really great way to exile our opponent's things. It's kind of like a banishing light effect, which is pretty cool, but it also has a channel ability, which allows us to protect our creatures and artifacts uh, by blinking them. Uh, but for the most part, we're going to be blinking something very very particular and I'll, I'll explain what in just a moment but uh we've also got a new card in the restoration of injago it's a um it's a three four vigilance creature but it also allows us to get our mana corrected and you know get free spells onto the battlefield if you have a two drop permanent or less which we do we have an artifact called potion of healing which when we play this we're going to be able to draw a card right when it hits the battlefield which is pretty awesome we can sacrifice this for life gain later down the road and because we are sacrificing it we can bring it back from the graveyard later for a reconstruct history a lot of synergies there but what's really great about this card is it's an artifact and it's a two drop so not only can we play it for free with the you know level two of the restoration we can get a free potion of healing on the battlefield for a card draw but if it's on the field we can also channel the spirit realm and blink it for more card draw so there's some really good synergies with this card here in the deck actually more than you might think uh we've also got you know three vanishing verses as an instant what else is our instant speed cards we also have unexpected windfall for some treasure also some card draw um this is a great card in the deck by the way because we are running lithoform engine which is another artifact of ours that we have and this is going to allow us to copy spells uh copy permanence by making tokens of them uh copy activated and triggered abilities this card does it all and it is so good in this deck because we run two planeswalkers we run a uh three three wandering emperors and we run three professor onyxes so anytime we're plusing or minusing on our loyalty we can copy it with the lithoform engine so we can get double the effects of all of our triggers we can even double up on the effects of our magecraft ability so if we deal two damage to our opponent we can actually trigger that twice by you know paying two mana which is pretty cool uh so yeah this card is really good in this deck and it plays really well with things like unexpected windfall because it's going to give you four treasures and four cards which is wild uh full play set of doom scars to keep the board clear and two lore hold commands also we have a new land in here guys i'm trying out the um roadside reliquary this is a really good card in this deck because if you have both an artifact and an enchantment you can sacrifice this late game to draw two additional cards which we have plenty of enchantment and artifacts so you should have no problems getting full value out of this especially in the late game uh but yeah that's the deck in a nutshell i hope you guys were okay with the quick uh descriptions and everything uh we're gonna get right into the gameplay footage because we have a lot to go through and then we're gonna meet back here for some final thoughts shout out marty mob let's get it what's going on everybody let's get into the gameplay footage man this thing is gonna be absolute fire i've played a handful of games with this deck it's actually pretty busted uh it does some really obnoxious things and uh it's marty so you know i'm down 
You know I'm down. All right, that's a mulligan. Yikes. All right, that's not bad. We can definitely work with this. Uh, we get back Doom Scar with Reconstruct as well as the Artifact of Healing. The Potion of Healing. Very much a keepable hand here. I think I only need one of those. Potion of Healing. Let's go. Find me something good here. Find me something good. I could really use it. We're up against enchantments, so the Doom Scar is going to be nice. Another Potion of Healing is not exactly what I meant, but it's fine. It's not the worst possible thing to grab. I kind of want to go Potion of Healing again, but that seems like it might not be a good idea. Um, well, I should have gone black there because I can get a white source here. Might have rushed that a little bit. Let's go with this, though. And uh, the Doom Scar is going to have to wait a little bit. Um, hopefully not too long. Spirited Companion. Looks like they're going to double down on the draw effect. Maybe. Yeah, they are. They're going to double down on that, which is fine. Which is just fine. <clears throat> okay, another potion of healing. Man, things aren't going very smooth right now. But you know what? Potion of healing is actually not bad right now because I can throw it back down for a freebie draw. And let's go with a black source here. Foretell this. And let's go ahead and get another potion of healing. Nice. All of our mana problems are completely fixed now, which is great. And uh, the free potion of healing felt pretty good too. Can't lie, the uh, restoration, you know, coupled with the potion of healing, not a bad combo, not at all. I don't like this harmony sitting out here, man. Being able to double up the effects, it's kind of annoying. I can't lie, but especially if they're gonna hit another spirited companion, that could be pretty bad. Man, I'm feeling really fresh today, though, man. We got the new white Mardu Mob shirt on. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. All right, they are really thinking about this next play here. Borrowed time. What do you take? There's no good targets in my opinion. Are you going to take that? I mean, that's fine. If I find a vanishing verse, that means I get back another free. Okay, that's also okay. The more the merrier. Eventually when I hit that vanishing verse, that's going to be a big hit, especially seeing that you gave me a, a card draw as well. All right, I am so down. So down for the unexpected windfall play here. Totally down. Dump the land. All right, so now they're deciding to get a little more aggressive. They attack with the the weaver. Interesting. No attack or no uh, plays this turn, huh? They must they must know the doom scars coming. They must have an inkling that it's about to happen to them. But we are gonna sack one of these because we get it back with the restoration. So let's go ahead and gain that life while we can. Ooh, I like the lithoform engine here. I like it. I like it. Let's drop it. Let's drop it. Let's just hold, um, hold our mana for now. Let's just doom scar the board and we'll let it sit. We'll let it simmer. They're going to have to, they're going to have to cast some spells here. They're going to have to cast some spells if they want to deal some damage. So let's see what they got. Got me some Dr. Pepper and ice. It's a good day, man. It's a good day. We got Mardu on the board. We got Dr. Pepper and ice in the cup. Got to be grateful, you know, got to be grateful for what we got. All right. That's an easy, easy Professor Onyx minus here. And uh, we are set up, man. I mean, we are golden. If that's all, if that's what they want to do is play one creature at a time, by all means, please do. It's going to give us time to do whatever it is we want to do, which next turn we could start plussing the Onyx and copying the plus mechanic with the Lithoform engine, which is going to allow us to get two cards a pop. Um, I could do a lot of things, man. I could copy this. That might not be a bad play either. Copying this and just stealing this and this. Two Jukai Naturalists is pretty annoying. 
One, two, three, four, leaving me with three mana, potentially four mana if I draw into it, which means I can't reconstruct and grab a Doom Scar to cast it. We're one mana shy of that, so gonna need to figure something out for the board. Might just copy this, like I said, but maybe just go for both Juke Guy Naturalists. I don't like having those sitting out there on the board. That's just a lot of value our opponent's getting over time. The good news is we have this. This is the most busted card in the deck for sure. This thing is wild. It's absolutely wild. The Spirited Companion for one. Oh man. Come on, Doomscar. <laughs> Come on, Doomscar off the top. No shot. <laughs> <laughs> no shot we just hit a doom scar off the top oh my goodness i'll take it i'll take it thank you game thank you for pulling through for me how about a double professor plus yeah how about a double i'll take that as well all right we need some land i do i do hate throwing away the unexpected windfall there but we got we got one there so it's all good it worked out it worked out Double Onyx Plus, man. Let's go. That's so much card value. We are just going to get so much value the next couple of turns. Our opponent's not going to know what to do. Their head's going to spin. You know what's crazy, too, is I could actually minus on the Professor now for two, or minus for three, and then copy it. That could be pretty wild. But it looks like they're not going to actually play a second creature here. Interesting. Maybe. Maybe another Juke Guy Naturalist. Spirited Companion, something like that. Because if I copy Onyx's minus, right? Um, oh, you dirty dog. That is just destroying it, though. That's fine. Destroying it is fine because we get it back. And we also get land, which is also super helpful. All right. They gave us some extra land. I like that. Um, let's go right on in here. Doom Scar's fun. Doom Scar's fun. And one, two, three, four, five. I could Doom Scar or I could. Yeah, you know, I'm going to do this. Mm. let's plus let's plus okay that's not bad <clears throat> that's not bad at all that is actually the answer we're gonna go with okay we're good we are gonna go with the wandering emperor play here this is totally fine totally fine oh man we got our engine back even though they killed it that's gotta that's gotta be pretty sad on the other end of the board watch me get this right back after you blow it up Well played there with the uh, restoration to get a free hard draw out of it. Well played. All right, so we know that the Kami's going to attack here. It's a no-brainer. It's going to try to kill the uh, Professor Onyx. That's when we swoop on in with the Emperor. And we say, no way, Jose. Are we about to see someone's head explode? Potentially my people must contend with me they don't get a card draw off the wedding announcement that's just one creature attacking not two so my sitting at 20 life total now with a, a, a complete full hand here and uh it's, yeah it's just gonna keep getting uglier from here man let's get the lithoform engine down let's uh let's plus oh no they scoop it up i wanted to keep going man i was having so much fun i was gonna plus there and hopefully hitting a land and uh if i did hit a land i was gonna count and see but i was gonna try to cast this and then copy it uh no i wouldn't have been able to copy it but i would have been able to copy its effect of exiling so i would have gotten this and this and got back both these cards either way holy cow man so much value <laughs> on to the next one all right, so you guys are gonna miss out on a video or on a on a game here that we just had. I just I had to cut the video or the uh, the game out of this video because 
We just played against Demir Control and it was an absolute snooze fest. I almost fell asleep twice. It was about 30 minutes long and our opponent was just taking their sweet, sweet time, man. It was, it was brutal. I almost decked myself, but we ended up pulling it out literally with like four cards left in our deck. It was a grind. Counter spells the whole nine. So could not keep that one, unfortunately. Would have taken the entire video just to play that one game. And it wasn't even that exciting, really. You know how we won, though? It was pretty cool how we won. We actually copied our Lithoform engine. We copied the uh, Liliana passive Magecraft ability to do two damage when I cast a spell. They were at four life, and I just cast a simple spell and copied uh, the Magecraft uh, to trigger it twice. So that was pretty cool. But aside from that, the rest of the game was a pretty big snooze fest. So we'll save your eyes from the pain of that game. And it looks like we go right into another control list here, right into another Esper player. Dude, what is with all the control, man? This whole algorithm thing is kind of annoying. I'd really like to play some meta decks, you know, some some more Selesny enchantments. I never just thought I'd say that, but I do. I'd rather play that. I'd rather play that right about now. All right, we're going to pass the turn here. We're just going to hold up Vanishing Verse. I think that's fine. Um, they might surprise me and play something. Uh, could be Wedding Announcement, something. I don't know. I doubt it, but we'll see. All right, cool. They don't play anything. Who could have ever suspected that? Oh, yeah, me. They're playing Esper Control. I'm okay with Esper Control here and there, playing against Azorius Control, whatever. Control's awesome. I'm actually a big fan of Control. But why does it seem like I'm only playing Control decks right now? And I think that's kind of, I think that's kind of lame. I, especially when you build your deck thinking you're going to play against things you've been seeing this whole time and you don't. Cool. Some more counter magic. You love to see it. All right. I would just, I just want to get you guys some like really cool and exciting games. That's, that's all. I want you guys to be able to see us pop off and copy some spells with our engine and just see some big reconstruct histories. But unfortunately our opponent's probably going to counter most of our big spells like reconstruct history, but all right, that's a pretty good top deck right there. Um, I am going to play Onyx here because even if Onyx gets countered here, cool. That's another counter spell we got down and out of their hand and we can eventually get it back anyway. So, uh, you know, I'll take it. It's value, baby. And it resolves. So that's a big win. If they Baleful Mastery it though, that's going to be kind of annoying because uh, our last opponent was running a full play set of Baleful Masteries and wasn't really my thing. <laughs> wasn't my thing to see my uh, Planeswalkers get exiled permanently. Memory Deluge. Yep. Saw that coming. I was like, there's no way they didn't counter. There's no way they didn't remove my Planeswalker if they're not playing Memory Deluge. <clears throat> I mean, I'm still okay with this, though. Memory Deluge is a really annoying card, but if if that's all they're going to do that turn and our, our Onyx is still on the field with six loyalty, that's a W. But it gets Vanishing Verse. That's the second one, so good times. Um, gotta try, right? Gotta try. It's quite the card, man. If this resolves, this is quite the card. All right, cool. So that avoids vanishing verse, at least. That avoids that nonsense. Um, still nothing in the yard. Things just keep getting exiled. So annoying. Probably going to cast a Lorehold Command here soon and just sacrifice the Potion of Healing to draw two cards. It's very likely that we might do that. All I'm praying for is not another 30 minute game. That's the, that's the thing. As long as we can avoid that, we'll be happy. Happy campers. All right. You pass the turn, I'll pass it right back. How about that? Pass, pass. Let's just both play on each other's turn. That sounds like more of a fun game. 
If they cast something here though for a lot of mana, like I don't know, a big memory deluge. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, they can cast that memory deluge for full for full uh mana amount of seven. I will cast the lore hold command. Alright, it's annoying. That's annoying, but it's fine. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. A lot of exiling effects. Not a big fan of that. Alright. Didn't hit a land there. Not that it would have mattered, but not for this turn at least. This is the no fun zone today, huh? The no fun police are on, on the prowl. No lithoform engines, your planeswalkers get exiled. Yikes. All right, our turn. Um, unexpected windfall seems pretty fun here. I don't know if it's going to get countered again, though. That negate was pretty brutal. Um, let's attack in here. Attack in here, see if they want to remove this. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they won't be able to help themselves. The march is probably going to come in here. It's essentially free, the march. So, no, no go. All right, let's go with you then. See if we can get some more mana here and then a couple of treasures and then. Nope, missed our land drops again. In a pivotal control match, we missed our land drop again. Oh, brother. It's not like we're lacking a lot of mana, but it would have been nice to only have to eat one treasure here to get down the Wandering Emperor on instant speed and then, you know, have more mana for the future too. Bit of an investment to the future. What a weird day. What a weird day. I'm trying to have some fun. The fun police came out. I don't know how we're going to win this, to be honest. This opponent definitely has a much better and like more efficient deck than our last opponent did. Um, they're running white too, which means doom scars on the table as far as sweepers go. Really any sweeper you can think of is on the table. But we're going to go ahead and send it here with the creatures. Just get as much damage as we, as we can. Get, them, get as much as we can go. All right. Um, do we reconstruct history here, man? I feel like I feel like we do, but then I feel like we don't. I don't know. I'm going to go Potion of Healing. See if we can hit a land, and then I'll hold up the Vanishing Verse as our play this turn. Could also have Lore Hold Command if I hit the land. Nice. We do get the land. Holebreaker Horror is on the prowl. Well, I hate to break the news to you. You played that a little too early. You played that one turn too early, my friend. That felt pretty good. I can't lie. Dealing with the Holebreaker Horror instantaneously feels amazing. Don't know if we're going to be able to do that twice, though. I can obviously reconstruct history and grab another vanishing verse back out of the graveyard, which is great, which can definitely deter them for a little while. But uh, to flash another one in, they're going to they're definitely going to want to save up a bit more mana here so they can cast a spell in response and bounce their, their things. But I just I want to know how many of these they're running. You know what I'm saying? Like these are the real problem. All right, um, I can only do this uh, channeling effect on an artifact or creature, so uh, unfortunately, they gotta let that go. Gotta let it go. Um, doesn't look like they might. I mean, they might have a sweeper. I don't know. I don't want to get too excited yet, but it seems like with that with that play on the main phase there that they don't have a sweeper. We'll see. Okay. Okay, let's attack in here and see what happens. Attack in. 
I'm gonna hold the lore hold command here. Okay, that's not good. Let's see what they do. They minus the 2 2, or are they gonna minus to kill my 3 2? Oh, my eyes just went wonky. Great. <laughs> what a weird day. <laughs> weird day. All right. So I'm gonna create a 2 2, which I think is a mistake. Should I, should I hit this with the 3 3 or? No, probably not. I should probably kill this. I should probably kill this with the three damage and then create another threat maybe, or it does kind of put them on the lethal clock, doesn't it? Kind of, we're close, close to putting them on lethal clock. Another doom scar, not helpful. Not helpful. All right, reconstruct history. We get back what? Nothing good. All right, so we're hoping to close this out with a, a top deck of the century. Um, what would we want to see? Professor Onyx or, I mean, the Wandering Emperor would be the win con. Like, that's the best case scenario is a Wandering Emperor off the top. So we can put a 1-1 counter on one of these. That's the real goal, but... I can't reconstruct it though because it got exiled. Those vanishing verses, man. Wow. Okay. And we get hit with a farewell too while we're at it. Just absolutely annihilating me right now. But we top deck an Onyx, which is pretty freaking cool. I can't lie. Looks like they have another. <laughs> Looks like they have another um, vanishing verse, I would guess. Like, what do they have here? They have something because. It's holding priority at the moment. Vanishing verse it is. Unbelievable, man. Actually unreal. Actually unbelievable. Okay, I don't like that, but it's not the scariest thing in the world. Um, two, four, six. That'll be our their seventh land drop here, which will allow them to cast a memory deluge, which allows them to get right back in this game. Hopefully they already played a land this turn. Nice, they did. Okay, so they can't actually even do that. Nice. All right, let's reconstruct history here. With the form engine, of course. I don't like that, but I'm going to take it anyways. I'd rather have the vanishing verse here in this particular instance, just because uh, it answers things, but Two, three, four, five. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here because I can double down on the lore hold command next turn, if if it you know stays on the field. Um. But if they answer the lith uh, the lithoform engine, that's fine too because that means that's mana spent, which means they can't hit their memory deluge. I mean, the memory deluge is fine too, because like I said, see, that's seven, that's seven mana. So it's like, do you, you know what I'm saying? Do you. All right, let's do this. Copy. All right. That's pretty big time if it sticks. Nice. Nice. Copy, copy. That puts them down to two and it leaves us with two threats. So they're going to need the biggest memory deluge of their life here. Oh man, I am nervous because if they memory deluge for seven here and they find a sweeper, which I'm sure they will, uh, they're safe. And then I got to figure out how to deal that additional two damage, which is actually going to be very tricky. Okay. So they don't memory deluge. They go for the, uh, wandering emperor play, which I think is a lot worse if I'm being honest. I could double down on the vanishing verse with the lithoform, clearing the lane here for an attack. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, do you, man. Get in there with your 2 2. That's fine. That's fine. They have one card in hand. Am I going to beat another control deck? This is not the matchup we wanted to see, but apparently we are holding our own, man. You'll never see me coming. 
they go with the Kato draw here. That's so weird. I would have I would have gone with the double uh, with the the memory deluge last turn, just because like I said they could have found a sweeper there pretty easily I think. But they're leaving it open here potentially to some uh, shenanigans. Don't like that they're highlighting my creatures though, because they did just draw a card and that kind of scares me. I can't lie. We've got the edge in this fight. They didn't even create another 2-2. Two -two? That's ballsy, bro. That's really ballsy. Okay. Well. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Okay, well, let's uh two, three, four, and then we have five. I guess we'll just win this way. We'll just win like this. Either way works for me. All right, GG's my friend, GG's. I was actually gonna copy the Vanishing Verse and just clear these two creatures out of the way, but then they dropped the two angels. Had to do it. I had to go through a, a different channel there, but we got it. We got it done. It only took us 16 dang minutes. GG. All right, for the love of God, please no control matchups this game. Come on, no control, please. I kind of want to switch my avatar back to this guy. I like that guy better. Um, bum, 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 bum. I don't like this. I do like this though. Um, try to do that. Uh, we will need a we will need a second red source, but this it should be okay. Vanishing verse is nice. Vanishing verse eats that eye twitch up, which I like. Uh, but they're going first, which is a big problem because deadly dispute. Deadly dispute is a thing they can do. I think I'm just going to doom scar the board here. I, it does give their eye twitch the ability to go to the sideboard, which is what I want to avoid. But I don't think I have a choice in the matter. Like I said, deadly disputes probably in their hand. They always have it, right? Like you can't really avoid that. Doom scar it is. Okay. They don't have the deadly dispute. Love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. All right, so it's not controlled by the way, which is great, but it is mono black, which is just as grindy, just as annoying. So what happened to all the uh, Selesnia and rune decks, man? Would have loved to see some of those matchups. Um, I think we're just going to pass here. We could channel this, but there's nothing to bounce. Uh, feeling pretty good, man. Feeling pretty good. We got the unexpected windfall coming. That's rough. That's a lot of cards they get to draw. That's a lot of cards. Holy cow. All right. I like seeing the Onyx here, especially with the unexpected windfall about to drop because we get to cast the Onyx with some additional mana open. Oh, you dirty dog. All right, let's go ahead and do this now. And then that way we get a treasure we can use to cast the Vanishing Verse on that. All right, easy plus for them, but we just eat them with the Vanishing Verse. We get our own Professor Onyx down. Um, they have one mana left open here. What What is holding priority? I, I hate that they're playing this card though, because now all of my Planeswalkers are susceptible to some serious removal, like easy stuff. I Twitch, fine. All right, we drop our own Onyx here. Hopefully it survives just one turn. I just need it to survive one simple turn and then we can get a good, good li uh, life gain sequence off with it. Cast the Reconstruct History, maybe cast some more spells and just get a lot of value. Nope, there it goes. Just like I thought would happen. Well, that's two of those down. <laughs> Only two more to go. Two more to go. 
All right, we are on the verge of death, by the way. We are on death's doorstep. Uh, let's grab a black and white here, I think. All right, we got a planeswalker, artifact, instant enchantment, sorcery. We got a lot we could pull back from the graveyard. Doesn't mean it's all good stuff. Um, this particular matchup, it doesn't seem very good to have a Doomsgar and whatnot, but it'll be nice to grab, like, let's say the Vanishing Verse. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, no. Okay, now we really need the Professor Onyx to pull one of those off the top of our deck for us. That is brutal. Great discard. Great discard. Bad news for us. Nope. Looks like, uh... Looks like we get to lose our Planeswalker as well. And we get a land off the top of our deck. Why the heck not? All right, well, it looks like we're gonna have to hold the L here on this one, which is fine. I mean, we've we've uh, we've won a lot of games with this deck in a row. I'm really actually surprised we were on as big of a run as we are, especially against these control matchups. So, pretty happy with how things went up until this point. Wow, they're running green this whole time. They didn't have their second color this whole time, and yet they still destroyed us. All they gotta do is cast one spell here, and uh, Professor Onyx handles the rest. Man, these invokes are just brutal. I mean, I'm going to try. I'm going to try and see if that'll resolve, but any singular spell wins them the game here. There it is. G Gs. All right. On to the next game here. I'm actually kind of happy to be out of that one. Man, tonight just feels like a weird night of magic. I can't even lie to you guys. Just a weird night. The matchups have been kind of weird. I don't know. I'm happy. I'm playing Marty, so I can't be too upset. The Reconstruct History is just, it's a phenomenal card, man. It's a lot of fun, but it just seems like the matchups have been really odd. Um, I like this hand. I actually like it a lot. Um, I don't like that we're going second because we don't have anything till turn three, which feels rough, but we're going to try to make that work. All right. The Doom Scar makes me feel a lot better. Especially because we're going against Mono White. Okay, finally, we're running against something that seems a little bit more meta. A little more meta-driven. It just feels better to play against the meta with when, de when you build a deck and your whole idea of building said deck is to just kind of like, maybe kind of combat the meta and what's happening. Um, Do we go for the Doomscar now? Probably not. They're going to get the Kami back which is really annoying. Maybe we want a Wandering Emperor Minus on that first before we decide to Doomscar the board. But if we go that route though of actually Minusing to exile this before we Doomscar, that's great and everything, but then we are going to end up Doomscarring our way our own our own uh creature as well hmm i don't know i feel like we got i feel like we got to take care of this now though which which we could take care of with just a simple vanishing verse though too so it's like i don't know i really don't know what to do here kind of feels Kind of feels gross this this whole line honestly um what do we do what do we do i don't know i'm glad we got this though like i said to take care of the hollowed haunting is nice but i'd rather it i'd rather it had been a vanishing verse i hope that they just commit a lot of runes here to the kami that would be pretty cool maybe the rune that gives life link and all that yep there it is the life linking rune Go ahead, give it to Kami. Kami really wants it. It's a big chonky boy. Okay, that's weird, but okay. Weird flex, but okay. 
All right, they got the trample on the spirited companion. Life link goes on Kami, which I expected. All right, I don't like that they draw cards for every single rune they drop. It's pretty, pretty brutal. I can't lie. Easy minus two on the Kami. Kami's gone forever. We sweep the board now and we're feeling pretty good about that. But, but we lose our restoration here, which sad day, but I mean, it's all we can do. It's all we can do. We'll probably just touch uh, the spirit realm on our uh, potion here. And that'll allow us to draw an additional card. A plus for no reason. All right, a little awkward, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Second red source, which does allow us to hit a unexpected windfall. Um, we also have Professor Onyx coming in next turn, which is very, very helpful. Uh, depending on how much they play here, uh, depending on how many creatures hit this battlefield, because minusing on the Onyx feels pretty bad when you're facing down a million and million threats. Also, they can activate this as a flyer, which no bueno. All right, they keep stacking more runes onto the visitor, which is good. It's making it a bigger target for the Onyx to exile or to have them sacrifice. I mean, um, definitely want to get some blockers, right? We minus on this, it kills this, uh, and then we protect our Onyx with, oh no, I feel like we have to do this. I don't feel like there's too many options where we don't do this as a, as a play, like it's necessary. Um, Yeah, Onyx is dead either way if they double attack here. But that does mean that our Wandering Emperor survives. And uh, we just get another Onyx in eventually anyways, so that's kind of cool. Never mind, they both die. <laughs> Never mind, they both are just dead here. Big, 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 big yikes. Alright, well, we need a Doom Scar off the top of the deck or we just die. We might even be dead here before this turns over. All right, so they do focus here on the planeswalkers, which is, which is helpful. <laughs> it is helpful. Um, gonna need to see the doom scar or bust. And even if we hit the doom scar, we do have enough mana. Oh my God. We have enough mana. I was so worried that we weren't going to have enough mana if we hit that doom scar, but we did. Holy cow. Holy cow. You're saying there's a chance. You're telling me there's an actual chance here. Are you kidding me? I am slightly pretty happy right now. <laughs> I cannot believe we just top decked that doom scar. Oh my God, dude. The game loves me right now. Okay, reconstruct history. We get another doom scar back. Oh my God. Let's go, dude. Let's freaking go. I can't, still can't believe that. I cannot believe that, dude. We have a potion of healing that we can eat as well, which will gain us three life here. So if they attack the face, but they don't, they still attack Onyx, which is totally, totally the right play. Let's see what we can pull here. Another Doom Scar. I'll take it. Um, reconstruct history. Do we have a Vanishing Verse? We don't have a Vanishing Verse, but we do have a way to deal with the Hollowed Haunting with this. And uh, Wandering Emperor. take you oh we can't take that oh exile one target artifact or creature oh no oh no i screwed that up 
I screwed that up. That was a uh, that was my big big misplay of the night, huh? Big misplay of the night. Why did I think it could take enchantments? All right, so they are going to borrow time now. Interesting. Interesting. They're taking the. I'm taking the day off. Taking the onyx. That's fine. I mean, the lore hold command can sack it to draw some cards as well. So we're not completely out of value. It's a permanent we can choose to sack to. Um, don't like that. That land keeps attacking me though. All right. What I think I'm going to end up doing here is I'm going to flash in the emperor to take care of the land that keeps attacking my face and we'll probably unexpected windfall as well. Both of those seem like a good idea. All right, go ahead. Attack my face. You're going to lose your cave finally. Okay, they're just trying to get more value here. Yikes. That's going to draw a card, which could end up on a pretty good run here if they keep top decking more runes. But I have another Doomscar, so these these uh, spirits are a nuisance, but we will be able to clean them up again. Gosh, I really thought I could exile that haunted holly or the hollowed haunting. That's that side effect again, the side effect of not reading your cards. It really bites you. <laughs> All right, two life gain. We take two. I could actually just do this. And yeah, let's do this. There's really no wrong or right answer here, I don't think. All right. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. All right, past the turn. Our hand is a little, little bit crappy. I can't lie. Our, our hand is pretty weak. Pretty weak. Looks like we're going to lose our wandering emperor. Okay. That's also a way that they can take my wandering emperor. All right. Borrowed time. Th what's good about these borrowed times though, and I'm not too worried about them is the fact that we have, um, vanishing verse. Vanishing Verse is eventually going to eat them alive for casting those. Like, they're going to have to pay a big toll for playing those cards. There it is. Um. Sure. I'm going to get back the Onyx first. I think I was going to get back the Wandering Emperor there, but I think the Onyx is better. All right. Ooh, a Reconstruct History. Don't mind if I do. Another reconstruct history. Also, don't mind if I do. Nice little sweepy sweep of the board. Get the restoration in here. Oh, we're looking, we're looking a okay, ladies and gentlemen. We are looking a okay. Foretell, foretell. Pass the turn. And we can just kick, kick back and relax, man. They have no lands that it can attack us. They have no hand. Okay, now they got a Runeforge champion. That's fine though. All we do is we minus the Onyx. It's dead. We've got them locked out. Like there's no shot that they come back from this. I mean, this is the biggest threat to us right now. So we are going to have to go reconstruct history to get that Vanishing Verse. But we will have to deal with this because that is too good to be sitting out there, man. All right, another card. Sure. Gosh, the Runeforge champion is a broken card. They just got three cards off of one top deck. Make it four. Make it four cards. All right. Looks like we're going to be doom scarring, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like doom scars on the menu. All right. Cool. Let's grab a potion of healing. Draw a card. Free card here. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Zero. We'll take you. You for sure. You and you. All right. You guys are gone. You are gone. And now I say, I said we could kind of kick it back last, last turn, but now we can really kick back. Now we can really hang out and just chill out because 
I mean, good luck to you to try to come back from this one. I love it. I love it. Let's go. Oh, Kami comes back. Ah, oh, man. Gosh darn it. We did. We did kill those things with the runes on it. So it does make sense. It does come back. That's rough. Another Kami. Feels bad, man. You do see the card in Fortel, right? We do have a card in the Fortel slot. Another potion of healing. Another vanishing verse. Ooh. Okay. Let's go and do this. Because why not? Let's do this. Because why not? Let's, uh... Let's do this, because why not? <laughs> and there's the scoop. Oh man, they were not they were not having fun towards the end of that game, huh? <laughs> GG. That's going to do for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. We're going to break this thing down in full right now. But before I do that, I just want to give a quick and huge shout out to everyone who's made it this far into the video. I really do appreciate you guys so, so much because you help out the algorithm a lot uh, by staying this long and the YouTube love, uh, loves to see that and they'll push my videos out to more people. So shout out to you guys. Thank you for that. Um, let's talk about the list. I, uh, you couldn't tell. I really enjoyed this list. Uh, today was kind of a weird day. I can't lie. The matchups were kind of ugh. a lot of control, a lot of grindy stuff, mono black. Not a lot of fun things to play against, but uh, that last game, very exciting. Very cool top deck off of the, <laughs> the top of the deck with the doom scar to save us there. But uh, the deck is fun. It is so much fun. And it, like I said, it is pretty competitive. I have a pretty good uh, track record with this deck. It's It's been doing pretty well for me. Um, I don't think, I was going to say, I don't think you can see it here, but um, we do have the uh, Aether Hub um, like application thing. I'm actually going to pull it up here and see see how we did completely with this because we played a lot of games prior to the recordings that you guys didn't see but like i said we won a lot of games today and i'm actually really happy with how this went so today i went a total of 10 and 4 71 percent win rate that's wild that's actually really really good and uh you know i i think it's fairly competitive man as long as you don't make too many mistakes i made a few along the way so i mean we could probably even get that up to a 75 percent i'm sure uh with a few mistakes being corrected but uh very 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 happy with how this deck performed today and uh, i think you guys are gonna have a lot of fun with it as far as things that i would change um i wouldn't change too much of it man i i, I thought maybe the lithoform engine was going to be a card that was a little meme -y, but holy cow guys uh there were some games that you like i said you didn't see so this thing i was able to copy a liliana's ultimate one time and completely win a game um the ability to copy the loyalty counters off of your planeswalkers is so good if you flash this in on after you have a lithoform down you flash this in and you minus one copy it and then the following turn you start your turn off by plusing and copying it you got two three three attackers coming in out of nowhere just in the blink of an eye that your opponent didn't see coming like this card is actually really good in this deck um the card i actually don't think that performed as well as it probably could have is these two right here they didn't actually get a whole lot of play and the reason this didn't get a whole lot of play is because vanishing verse is so good that it didn't really we didn't really almost ever need the touch of the spirit realm but that's why it's channel ability to blink this is so good um and then also the restoration didn't get a whole lot of play and a lot of the times it's because we were sweeping the board uh, it seemed like a lot once the architect hit the board which is kind of a waste um but yeah, if you guys can find better enchantments, that would be my biggest key, right? That's my biggest takeaway is that if you guys can find better enchantments to place in those slots, uh, slots right there, um, you might be able to make this a little bit better. Um, didn't get a whole lot of chance to work out the roadside re reliquary, but still think this card's pretty cool too. It did get us in trouble a little bit with the color of our mana that we, we needed sometimes, but a uh, pretty cool idea. And I think it, it belongs in the deck. So uh, ultimately... A plus. I love the deck. I think it works really, really well. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Uh, Country Fried and Carl, uh, uh, thank you so much again for the uh, idea. I appreciate that. And uh, I hope you guys have fun with this one too. And uh, before I hop out of here, lastly, huge, huge shout out. Huge shout out as always goes to the Marty Mob. Of course, you guys are the best, man. You guys absolutely kill it with the support here on the channel. And, uh, you know, Country Fried being a member of the Marty Mob as well, you know, throwing the idea out to me that's just the kind of stuff you know that these guys do they're just really good people really really fun energy to be around and the live streams are always a blast thanks to the marty mob 
and they support the channel through a monthly membership program, which goes a very long way here. So thank you so much. Shout out to them as always. If you guys want to become part of the Marty Mob and join the team, you can do that by hitting the join button down below or the link in the description. Uh, we do have a box opening a Kamigawa coming to you guys soon. Hopefully by next week, I'll have that done. And uh, it'll be a members only video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And we'll see you guys on the next video on Monday. Till next time. Peace. Hit him three times like a hat trick. Yeah. The name is says you know Patrick. Yeah, yeah. If you play him, then it's tragic. Hit him with the mythic, yeah, that's magic. Yeah. MTG, that's what you'll see if you like and subscribe. Where's the upload, man? Uh, man, all of the time. Coming with the best extra to the meta. This ain't cheap.